Move the Jace. Remember back when Summit was doing his MVP performance when he was first in North America? It was like Jace and Gnar that he was able to really shine with. We got the cameras, we got the Pepe's, Twitch chat live and in person. Cast it in, banned out by TL. They don't want 100 Thieves to be able to pick that one up. It's nasty fighting it out against Fudge. We've seen Summit time and time again really trying to push these matchups to the limit. Um, and how, how do you expect? Oh, if we get to Leah, it's going to be a lot of a play to both sides. I was going to say, how do you expect? Twitch Twitch chat's not even as bad as some of you guys. Y'all need a cold shower. <laughs> How do you expect the, the junglers to actually path in the game? Double lift and Busio are very far up, so this would be really dangerous for them. Yeah, double lift and Busio have level two versus the level oh, one of their so opponents, drunk, so they're trying to keep this pressure going. All right, the heal's already used. As soon as Kor and Yon hit level two, they're ready to get the chase going. There's a flash. Pioshek, he gets twisted in advance. He knocks him back. Bustio, first blooded by Pioshek. It's a priority, but they really wanted to push forward. Yeah. A little bit of disrespect. Yeah, I have definitely. Oh, Summit's really low, and potentially Bustio. 100 Thieves can at least get some plate damage down. I think Bustio is trying to. Oh. Oh. Hold on, Closer's coming in mid. The chain CC is more. Oh, no way! But it ain't nice enough. Harry gets away. That's good by Closer. Oh. Well, bottom side, 2v2. They got the damage on Core JJ, and Busio's gonna take the kill. Now ready with the piercing arrow. Sending oh. it to the spell shield is done. But Yawn outplays it to take him out. It'll be a one for one with those two, but a two for one overall. Simply. Uh, and as far as the item pickups as well, you know, Busio now has a serrated Dirk, which is gonna be a lot stronger than just the tier two boots that Core has. So we can watch this one more time. You know, Core walking up, you know, potentially just trying to find them to stop a base. Straight into the Ash Arrow. There's the trap, there's the net, following it up. Everything is there. Busio flashes in. And this is what I'm talking about. He just holds the Q through the entire duration of the spell shield, waits till the last second, nails everything. And that ward gets him the ace in the hole over the wall. I think Top JJ just got a bit, but the window is so short that it's like really hard to make anything happen. They go play. Yoshik. Letting the ulti rip here. Only gonna find the Sejuani, but he flashes in for the twisted advance on Busio anyway. Busio's down to 300 HP, but Korche J dies at the same time. There one is here. one here on support. Harry looking for a chance to get in, but Double Lift and Closer have made it back underneath the protection of the tier one turret. Meanwhile, top side, Summit versus Tenacity. Tenacity's been getting whooped on the whole lane, but he takes him down in the solo fight. Oh, so Double is having to back up, and now Closer is here, and Yon could potentially get chased down. Bjergsen's coming as well, and has the ulti. Yon throwing out Boomerang Blade. Bjergsen's ready to arrive with the Weaver's Wall. Yon trying to escape. He can't use the spell shield to block. Tower is gonna die to the tower, so he takes about you know, 200, 300 damage, and that's just enough to make the difference. And Closer now should be able to get out of there. Busio has flash, Ooh. doesn't gonna need it. The ulti, oh, but Busio, too greedy. He stays too close oh. to the wall and he gets picked. Harry cleans it up. Nice advantage. job from TL, but now they've got to be able to escape. Tenacity coming around from the side. Counter-Strike's gonna find the lockdown on a Pioshik, and Bjergs is able to shove him back. Kill credit back over to Tenacity. Double it picks up one on Yawn. Yeah, mid lane turret back, and... Now Harry getting aggressive on Doublelift, uh, who... Uh, I don't think he's was supposed to go that way. Yeah. For the rest of his squad, they are still ahead. Three kills overall. They are uh -oh. down in gold, however, as Team Liquid is still up about 800. Tenacity in a 1v2 versus Pioshik and Yawn, and obviously not feeling too bad about it. Well, either have to rush the objective or go back to lane. Well, like Bjergsen, for the fight. nice placement of the wall there, cutting off the bottom lane of TL from the rest of the fight. Now Tenacity stuck here in the middle of everybody. They're going to shut him down before anybody can back him up 100 feet. Oh, he goes in. He finds the shuffle, but it's only on the closer. Now they're going to chase him down. Piyoshi wants it. Harry has nobody to body block. Ace in the hole takes him down. Double is going to get another triple kill. It's a quadra kill for Double Lance. He just tears through him. Completely untouched. Yeah, honestly, I think if Team Liquid just... Uh, Played a little bit slower, like after getting the first kill on the Jax. I think Jax is going in a bit too early. Talia W misses. And right now, when if Team Liquid just uses their cooldowns on Jax and then slow downs the fight and disengages and plays it again, I think they are in a very good spot. But they get very ahead of themselves and they keep chasing. Like I don't think Azen needs to do this play, especially if the enemy carries her flashes up. I think the Herald is already there and they basically take one for zero. But uh, yeah, they opted to keep fighting and it didn't go there well. Yeah, I mean, it's so hard with a heavy melee comp to fight into Talia, right? If you were not killing off that Talia at the start, charging straight into her, uh, you were going to get shredded. I mean, double to pick up a lot of the kills there. <laughs> but uh, Bjergsen was obviously getting a lot of damage. 0 lead in that department now, too. Tenacity arrives to cut off Yoshik's escape. 
Yurtsun's gonna throw the Weaver's Wall in as well to make him walk even further. However, the Sun Disc is summoned up in mid lane on the ruins of the previous turret, and that means tenacity is all alone. Team Liquid do a good job turning that back around. Right. And main plays very well, but it's for sure more risky. Yeah, gotta really be tracking any potential flank wards as well. They're looking for an engage now, though. Lucio flashes over the wall, but he still gets grabbed by the second Maokai Tindril. Oh, he's up in the jungle, so maybe he wants to cut some of them off so they can actually engage on that front line. Look at him at the blue buff there, trying to get an angle to just zone off some of the back yeah. line here. But it's Summit that's on this flank angle. There's Tenacity looking for that isolation. Yeah, Summit's just running away from everybody else. Tenacity wants to chase him. The Weavers won't carry damage now. They've already popped the enemy mid laner. That's huge for 100 Thieves. The Drake is taken low. Who's going to get it? It's stolen away by Closer. They grab their second kill. The Thieves are absolutely slaughtering Team Liquid in this fight. Not going to be stopped unless you can instantly kill her at the start. I don't also even know if it's IE on Yon. He has a Caulfield's Warhammer. Yeah, that's an Ivory quick Blades component as 100 Thieves. They're going to find Summit uh, and just blow him up. Yeah, the way, knows the Jax is moving like this, but now Bjergsen's coming in to cut him off. It's Harry stuck again, this time flashing away to make sure he doesn't get caught. Gone and Core JJ want to pop the ulti to get out. Tenacity uh, goes in. Oh. Legendary and 100 Thieves go off. They're chasing Team Liquid away now. The Baron is stopped, so they essentially trade Core JJ for the Baron. TL gonna try to push through this trap line. Core JJ trying to look for an angle, and Summit is on a potential flank, but they're just gonna be Talia ulted out. Yeah, they, they're like, we have the damage. He just burst the Drake down while the Weaver's wall is up. The Drake is low, and it's secured. Closer's got it. And now TL wanna disengage. Tenacity's here. But it doesn't look like he wants to collapse. TL is still far too grouped up. His team's too far away. But 100 feel the loss of the LDR is heavily. But 100 Thieves now still... The gold lead itself is not astronomical. 1.4 thousand. But the soul itself is worth about 5k. So that thing is really going to make 100 Thieves feel comfortable about the current state of the game. You can see Closer getting hit, taking a little bit of damage. But remember, his second completed item after the Radiant Virtue is a Warmog. All he has to do is yep. wait for the Leandries to stop burning. He will regenerate the health. Together with the Ocean Soul, it'll regenerate very quickly. As Bjergsen goes for the Weaver's Wall, Yon gets cut off. And no, no, buddy. Is it? Okay, okay. Got away from it. I was wondering how many auto attacks it would take from Doublelift just to kill him off there. Now Kyolti's not going to get much. Again, only Closer, and none of that damage can stick. They control yeah. the game. They control the side lanes. They control the vision around Nash. So it's up. Oh, maybe they will some fight. Okay, a little bit of damage on the double lift and closer here. Malkai ulti goes through. Double lift's gonna be protected. Closer's not. Jack, but again, no blame. You can't focus the Sejuani. They just don't have the damage. It's, it's gonna be multiple members that have to answer the Jacks to stop them. So if they show multiple members up up there, and he can just go right back for it. But instead, he's gonna TP. They're gonna commit to just finishing this. Maokai's not even anywhere close. Oh, we've got a teleport coming in. Oh, no, not again. 100 Thieves. Tenacity's now in a 1v4. Summit's going to be in a 1v4. Summit's already losing his. Tenacity barely took 25% damage. It's going to be a massive buy when 100 Thieves does go back. I don't even know if they need to go back. <laughs> yeah. They're just... Uh, Hard force oh, and tenacity. tenacity just about dead. They will at least get him. That's going to stop this for now. Double lift and 100 Thieves managed to crack open the mid lane, but they didn't actually take the inhibitor itself. Piyoshi goes in looking for double lift, but alone he can't get it done. Ace in the hole fires off. Double lift still might be under pressure, but no, he just turns his gun right back on Yawn. And now Harry teleporting behind the enemy team, trying to get the angle. He could be in trouble next. Tries to walk it off, escape out to the right. Double is still looking to collapse on him here. Bjergsen knows he can catch up. Talia is faster than Azir. Goes for seismic shove, doesn't hit it. Throw in another rock. Just keep him around, keep him distracted. Wait for double M. 1,022 damage. Wow. And no flash as well on Pyoshik, so how does he even get in there? It seems almost impossible. Double just dropping the trap line. They see him there, and Tenacity's gonna look to push him out. Yeah, Tenacity doesn't wanna let Pyoshik anywhere near this. Bjergsen's going to ride in the Weaver's Wall. Just let that one keep everybody separated. This is Elder Dragon. They are taking no chances with anything so far. They're just shoving in as a group. Bjergsen is still a little bit removed from the rest of the team. Oh. <laughs> so remember what I said about one bullet? Forget core. Kill Yon instead, yeah. dummies. <laughs> just shoot the guy with one bullet, and you'll win the whole game right there. Bioshik even takes 800 damage from the headshot crit. Double lift has no fear and he doesn't need to have it, man. Nobody can survive this. 100 Thieves with the Elder Dragon wastes no time. Pushing Team Liquid back into their own fountain. The Elder Dragon's just puking on everybody. Double kill for double lift.
There it is, 37 minutes in, 22 a 100 feet in the dub. Double lift looking a little bit strong, guys. So 14, zero, and six on the Caitlyn. Monster game from Doublelift, who has been on a tear, honestly, these last four games, it feels like. He had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Zeri games he was crushing on. Great team fighting on the Caitlyn as well. You know, they got the 2v2 kill, you know, both, killed both in bot lane, and were up 20 CS as well after getting 3 camp ganked. So, 100 Thieves, you know, really doing well here. Felt like a pretty bulletproof game. Like, they were in control for, for a vast majority of it. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, you can safely say after this game that Doublelift is back. Oh, yeah. yeah. When he had the Zeddy games, every everyone was just playing for him. The Zillian in the mid lane, the Lulu, and right now we played Caitlyn with not that much setup around him or like feel around him, and he performed very well. So yeah, really good to see get things going. They had their moments, but it did feel like a, a tough one for TL.